Hey guys, and thanks for joining me for yet another video. In this presentation, we're going to take a look at how to make carrot cake. And not just traditional carrot cake, but we're actually going to be implementing some carrots shavings that we use from another recipe. We initially used these carrots to make a carrot punch. However, we're going to remix it into a cake. So, let's get into this video. <laughs> and thanks for joining me for yet another video in this presentation we are going to be using some leftover carrots now I had made carrot punch with this carrot and that's all I did with it I squeezed out the majority of the juice that's my oven that's beeping right now I put it on preheated at 350 degrees for this recipe but anyways so I have here about four cups of shredded carrots that's been squeezed all the juice is squeezed out in this recipe we're going to be making a carrot oat banana cake so to make that we have our four cups of shredded carrots two bananas two cups of cooking oil two cups of white sugar four eggs one cup of oats one cup of flour as well as one tablespoon of baking powder one teaspoon of baking one teaspoon of salt half a teaspoon of almond extract, half a teaspoon of coconut extract, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, half a teaspoon of allspice. So to start, what we're gonna do is we're going to be breaking up our bananas into here. So I'm gonna peel them and break them up into here, as well as I'm going to be adding the oats next and a bit of the mixture, but I'll show you what I So do. to my bowl, I've added my bananas to my carrots and a cup of oats. To that, we are going to be adding our eggs, oil. I'm just gonna be leaving back about two thirds of a cup. And we're gonna add our flour. And we're gonna add our tablespoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a teaspoon of nutmeg, and half a teaspoon of all ground allspice. You're also gonna add a teaspoon of your almond extract and a teaspoon of your coconut extract and that's all of our ingredients that's how I get all my ingredients going and then what I do is I start integrating everything with a spatula I usually use a fork to be honest but I'm gonna use a spatula so I'm gonna start breaking this down so it becomes one solid mixture so and we're I'll also gonna add our sugar and leave back like two-thirds of a cup as well so we have that much sugar and that much oil left back so we're gonna continue giving this a mix to integrate these ingredients so far and I'll be back to show you what we get but yeah the point is to end up with a nice consistent paste and I'll show you what that should look like before this gets anywhere near baking so guys after I mix it all in as you can see I got a nice cake like batter yeah so I did not use the last two-thirds of oil nor the last two-thirds of sugar I usually just do two cups and I hold back just in case at the end I needed some more to add moisture or sweetness however we're gonna not be using those so this is ready to be transferred into a pan where here I have two cake, cake pans that I pre-sprayed and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna line it with a little bit of flour so I'm gonna just sprinkle some flour around in there and then I'm gonna just beat the pan around till the whole thing's covered in flour before I transfer the batter into each of these dishes. So I'll show you what it looks like when they're both ready to take the batter. I'm just gonna get them floured right yeah, now. Yeah guys, so this is what the pans look like when they've been greased and floured. So now it's gonna be time to transfer our batter on over into these pans. 
So I'm just going to be trying to split it as evenly as I can. I'll stop there for now and I'll go over here. And I'm going to use my spatula to spread it around to make sure it's even all throughout the pan. So I'll do that. Hey y'all, so these pans are pretty much filled to three quarter of the mark. So there's barely any room on the top. I usually don't fill them that much, but I didn't think I had enough for a third pan. So we're gonna go move forward with these two. Our oven is preheated to 350 degrees. We're gonna stick these in on the middle rack and we're gonna let this bake for 45 minutes before we check it at 350 degrees. And yeah, I'll be back to show you what we have at 45 minutes. Hey guys, so I'm just back to show you that I'm taking these out of the oven. They seem just about ready. To be honest, I got a perfect nice color on them that I am appreciating right now. I'm just going to check it to make sure the inside is nice and firm. Um, I would stick it, but I don't feel like I need to. So this is ready. So I allowed the uh, cake to cool down completely. And um, I'm just sliding a knife around the side, although it shouldn't be stuck because we floured and greased it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover it with a plate. Usually it's better to do it two hands, but it should work out really well. Yep, it did. <laughs> now we're going to cut into it and see what we got. It's going to be a surprise for me as well. Each cake is a surprise. But yeah. We're gonna see exactly what we've got. It's super soft. I'm not even gonna pretend this is so soft. So yeah guys, let's see what we've got. Make sure I cut it so it can break up the top there. And yeah. So we've got a super moist cake as you can see. You can still see specks of the banana trying to come through. You can see little shreds of the carrot shining through. So I'm going to taste it. And of course it's good, it's really good. And this is a healthier version of cake, I would assume. <laughs> Try it yourself and let me know how you like it. Bye friends.